Here comes the Kiwi. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Auckland, New Zealand, the SmackDown Women's Champion, Dakota Kai. Traveled the world over. When it comes to legitimate tough women, Dakota Kai is at the top of the list. The first female competitor from New Zealand to make her name at this level. Guys, you better get ready for the woman's right. And her opponent, from Paris Island, South Carolina, Lacey Evans. A former Marine who trained in NXT while raising her daughter, Lacey Evans, is ready to grab the spotlight. Well, Lacey Evans has an incredibly impressive resume. I just don't like how she looks down on everybody. Well, she's better than you, Saxton. What would you expect? That is true statement. She's beautiful, she's dangerous, and she is as classy as the day is long. Definitely an electric feeling to this venue tonight. Boom, what impact. to her opponent big time. Vertical suplex. Nice. She's starting to take a beating. She doesn't appear too concerned, however. If you're worried about her now, you haven't seen many of her matches. She can withstand so much more punishment than this. Yeah, but I feel pretty confident in saying that she still has plenty of gas left in the tank. Man. Beautiful technique. Nailed it. Ooh, what impact. The leg is... You gotta believe this one's over. the impact. She's starting to falter here. Her opponent clearly has her number here. If she's not careful, this could very easily spiral out of control for her in a hurry. And she's knocked off her feet. I think that one caught her by surprise, Michael. Showing some quickness there. Flex. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. Oh, and she gets floored by that one. Yeah, there's no staying on your feet after something like that. Wow, look at the quickness by Lacey Evans. Clubbing blow to the back. The inaugural May Young Classic was a special event for many female superstars, including Lacey Evans, who really opened up a lot of eyes with her performance. She has got to take advantage here. This one is over. Let's look at that one again, guys. Cole, she might win this thing right here. 
On the topic of Lacey Evans' May Young Classic performance, Lacey Evans was a breakout star in the first two rounds of the tournament. Yeah, Evans eliminated the Brazilian martial artist Tanara Conchi, but fell to nine-year veteran Tony Storm in round two. She put up a heck of a fight both times, though. Look out! Frog splash! She goes for the cover. King and out of that may have used up her last bit of energy. She just will not give up, Cole. Lacey Evans has one of the most devastating moves ever performed in an NXT ring. The women's right. She's laid out top worldwide talent and former women's champions with her devastating strike. And that knockout punch can come at any time. It can turn a competitor's lights out in an instant. That makes Evans a threat in any environment. Oof! Corey and I discussed Evans' devastating move to the women's right. A woman of Evans' size with the years of Marine training. It's no wonder it's cleaned the clocks of some of NXT's best. And a competitor needs to prepare for it. Her opponent tonight should target that right arm and neutralize the move before Evans exercises her right to knock someone out. This is not good at all. The I don't have you walking funny. Dakota doesn't give the impression of being hard hitting, but she's constantly showing the women's division that her kicks contain the thunder from down under. Here's a cover. She is on fire. Michael, you described Dakota's kicks as thunderous. I don't think a lot of girls will be prepared. This might be it! Oh my! That should do it! She comes up big with a reversal. I wouldn't have been surprised if that was it. Wow! Amazing! The half Samoan from New Zealand, Dakota Kai, has a lot to wrestle for tonight. She's a journeywoman whose motives have changed with every country she's competed in. When you fight abroad as much as Dakota has, you feel a greater connection with your home, a greater connection with the people you do this for. And for Dakota, that's her family. Is that how you feel about Burke, Virginia, Byron? Actually, I do. We touched on Dakota's experience abroad, Corey. She spent 10 years getting to this position. All the way up. Oh, no. Rough landing. She's got it now. Dakota Kai with the easy kick out. Looks like there's some more fight left in her. That's all she wrote, fellas. She goes for the cover. Not enough to end this one. Too soon. Big reversal for her there. She hits it. Dakota Kai brings everyone to their feet. That's it. She hits it. Dakota Kai brings everyone to their feet. This one's over, guys. Cover here. Yes! Unreal performance. These ladies put on quite a show. Here's another gander. I'm not easily impressed, but even I thought that match was one of the best I've seen in a while. That's the kind of match that makes me proud to be here at ringside. Action from the opening bell and a finish people won't soon forget. She was amazing all match long. Flawless technique, relentless attacks, and she brought it all night long. Here is your winner, Dakota Kai. A well-earned victory indeed. Guys, it sounds like we can all agree that was an extremely impressive win.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 525 pounds. The Necromancer and the Nightmare, the Ministry of Darkness. Ladies and gentlemen, we have tag team action coming up. And given the state of the tag team division right now and how incredibly competitive it is, this match might just make or break one of these teams. Here comes the world's largest athlete. And their opponents, first, standing seven feet tall, weighing in at 385 pounds, The Big Show. Strutting to the ring. One of the all-time greats, possibly in the best physical condition of his career right now. I think he's on b Sax's diet. Well, that's a great thing. Big Show more agile than we've seen him in years. You said a Corey looks better than he's been in years. And more dominant than he's been in years. Part of some of the all-time great moments in WWE history. You remember when Big Show arrived in WWE? He burst through the ring. The destruction that's followed has been historic. The Big Red and his Monster! From parts unknown, weighing in at 323 pounds, Kane! One of the most sadistic superstars ever to step foot in a ring. A true tortured soul. Remorseless, cold, and absolutely destructive. As vicious, brutal, punishing as they come. Straight from the mouth of hell, marching surely one day into the WWE Hall of Fame. The tag team action underway here. Guys, there's nothing like a good old-fashioned tag team match. Respect right there. I kind of like it. considering he has a very capable partner he can tag in with. I think a lot of people right now are scratching their heads wondering how he let this match get so out of hand. Yikes. Oof. The cover. That wasn't even close to three. Too soon. This can go a variety of different ways, Corey, and almost none of them are good. Impact. Now the old vicious head crank. 
Look at the torque. Oh, nasty impact. The ball that hurts. It's the suck cover here. He's on the defensive here. Well, it's not dire consequences for him here, which is good. But just in case, he oh. might want to think about getting his partner in there for a bit. He seemed more motivated than ever heading into this match, which makes me think he still has plenty of fight left in him. Beautiful technique. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Set it up. Full blade pack. Getting closer now. There it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. Oh, this is dangerous right here. Kane is looking to end this. You better stay right where he is. Kane wants to put this away. Some miscues from Kane here. This tag team match can get out of hand quickly if he doesn't mount an offense soon. Oh. It looks to me like his partner's itching to get in there. And now might be an impactful slam. But is it enough to end it? And Kane easily avoids the pinfall. Nah, not yet. Too early. Big ending! Can he finish the job? That might be the end of Kane tonight. And no luck against Kane there. Ooh, what impact. Oh, and he reverses it. You gotta believe this one's over. Tagged in. Oh boy, he is rolling. Boom, running STO plants him. Nicely done. Nailed it. He's looking a little weary here. His Ooh. hopes of winning this tag team match are starting to dwindle. He needs a breather in a bad way right now. If he could just make it to his corner and make the tag. History has shown that the fire to annihilate is always burning inside. Kane. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Oh, my clothesline. Forcefully delivered. Kane being tested here. He may very well be running on incredible impact. Here's his moment, and here's a couple. Looking at it here. I've personally been attacked by Kane, so I speak from experience when I say the monster doesn't discriminate. The feeling of fear is very real when you see Kane walking towards you. There's a horror no one should experience. The music, the fires of hell, the image of Kane, all these things are horrifying. And then the behemoth begins his assault on an opponent. I'm getting chills just talking about this. A lot of pride on the line here in this tag team encounter, but only two of these competitors will end up getting what they came for. The win. Oh, slam straight to hell. A crushing blow by Kane. IP goes for the cover. And he stops the count. Boom. When this guy's on, look out. I don't think there are two teams I'd rather see square off against each other right now. This is amazing. Larian. Oh, and he connects. There's no reason to lose your footing on a move like that. Come on, toughen up. Losing touches. Wow. That's worth another look. Yeah, I want to see that again.
counter here. Comes up big with the reversal. Oh, close line. Ooh. Comes in off the tag. Oh, what impact. This is... When a superstar is in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment, they must find a way back to their corner to tag their partner. Something that they have to try is doing create separation between them and their opponent. That space gives a superstar the ability to... And he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. The Big Show is putting on a big show right now. What a clothesline! Ouch! Corey, you touched on this before, part of it tag team's ability to be successful is their ability to endure punishment and make their way to their partner when they need to tag out. One way to do that is to create that separation you spoke of so they have some space to gather themselves and time to make their way back to the corner. You're absolutely right, Michael. What's the use of having a tag team partner if you're not able to get to them when you got to tag out of the match? Getting that separation is key in breaking any momentum your opponents could have may be the difference between a win and a loss. Maybe even more. A second time. Belly to belly suplex. What a comeback. Oh man, Big Show is in trouble now. Oh boy, he is rolling. You've got to believe this one's over. This might be it. Oh my. There's the tag. Picks up their opponent. Earth-shaking power slam. Looks like... Real close. Too close for Cooper. I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole. His opponent included. Close line. He's making a statement here with this attack. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Ooh, what impact. Oh, gut punch. Nasty. Harsh impact. Big back drop. He looks absolutely exhausted. This is not where he wants to be at this point in this tag team match. Unless he has... A weapon of mass destruction! That's what he was looking for, Michael. He's got him covered. One, two, three! They did it! Wow, what a match! Sometimes a match can't live up to the hype, guys, but that one sure did. That's what I love about the WWE, a match that lives up to expectations, but still finds a way to surprise us. Good stuff. And last but not least, there was this. Here are your winners, The Big Show and Kane. Nice teamwork by these two here tonight. That's a big win right there. Anytime you can pin another WWE competitor's shoulders to the mat for the three count, you should be proud. I think I can safely speak for all of us when I say that was an amazing contest.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 157 pounds, the Intercontinental Byron, how big is this Champion, match for these two teams here tonight? Well, Michael, the tag team division is white hot right now. So while a win will obviously be huge, I can tell you that a loss would be absolutely devastating. Given the competition right now, a loss tonight would be a huge setback. And his partner from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 182 pounds, Mustafa Ali. One of the most exciting competitors in all of WWE, Mustafa Ali can drop your jaw with some of his mind-blowing offense. Yeah, a very motivated young superstar. He says he treats every match like it's a fight for his life. Big time stage for the Undisputed Era. And their opponents, at a combined weight of 397 pounds, Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly, the Undisputed Era. The multifaceted mixed martial arts backgrounds of both Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish make them a threat to each and every tag team in WWE. These are two men who have been a tag team since 2012 and yet have maintained the same attitude of doing what most people don't expect. Silencing critics, marching to the beat of their own drummer, and succeeding every step of the way. Yeah, the Ray Dragons really transforming things here in WWE. Incredible opportunity tonight. The universally feared oh. in-ring veteran Bobby Fish is set to display his combat art. I think wow. of tag teams that can make a major impact on today's WWE, I absolutely think of these two teams. Oh, right to the gut. secret that quick tags lead to success in the tag team division. And I'd say the quicker he can make that tag here, the better their chances of winning will be. If things don't change in a hurry, this has all the makings of a short evening for him. Match is a little disturbing. I don't know why he hasn't made the tag yet. It's almost like he enjoys the pain.
That now, boom! Oh, what an elbow! Kyle O'Reilly setting it up! Uh-oh. Is he done? How'd he do that? I don't know, Michael, but good thing. I don't think he could have taken much more of that. Devastating elbow. Elbow right to the nose. Looking for the win. And he releases the hold. I don't think he had it fully locked in. Boom, what impact. Tagged in. Tear the features clean off your face. He's getting closer, Corey. And he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. No, there's the reversal. And there's his speed paying off. And no luck against Ali there. Good try. Oh, boy, he is. Things are looking bleak for Bobby Fish here. This is not where he wants to be at this point in this tag team match. Ooh, what an elbow. A barrage of elbow. Keep your eye on this one. Look out. Oh, man, what a leg drop. Beautiful technique. A high-risk maneuver that works from that top turnbuckle. Ooh, that's how you dominate your opponent. In WWE, there's as much chaos outside the ring as there is inside the ring. Try working with Saxton at ringside. I think we're about to see a high-risk move from the top rope. Ali is looking at this. He's got to do it quick. He's making a statement with this attack. He might have it. And no luck against Ali there. Good try. Tag team history was made when the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions were crowned at Backlash 2016. The unlikely duo of Rhino and Heath Slater caught lightning in a bottle and ran through the Tag Team Title Tournament. In the finals, Rhino and Slater took on the Usos to see which team would be the inaugural Tag Team Champions. There was a lot on the line in the Tag Team Tournament Finals. The Usos wanted to add another Tag Team title reign to the resume. And in oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. Knocked him right off his feet. Yeah, no kidding. Comes up big with the reversal. Eludes that one. Oh boy, he is rolling. You gotta believe this one's over. Knocked off his feet. Now that's a takedown. Setting it up. Now, brain buster. The damage has been done. And the kick out by Ali. Mustafa Ali still has some more high flying to do, apparently. Oh boy, he is rolling. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Down he goes. That'll do it every time. There may be no preventing the tent. There it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. Oh, my gosh. Looks like he's starting to falter. His hopes of winning this match appear to be dwindling in a hurry. Don't write him off just yet, guys. From what I see, these guys are pretty evenly matched at this point. And a double knee strike. What a maneuver. And a pin attempt. No, shoulders up at two. I was still in this one. Setting him up in position here on the second. That'll hurt. DDT. That's 
what he was looking for, Michael. They did it! Wow, what a match! Now's a good time to look at some of the highlights from that last matchup. I'm not easily impressed, but even I thought that match was one of the best I've seen in a while. That's the kind of match that makes me proud to be here at ringside. Action from the opening bell and a finish people won't soon forget. He ain't messing around. You are not going to see many matches as good as that one. These superstars rose to the occasion and gave us more than we ever dreamed of. Here are your winners, the rock star and Mustafa Ali. Wow, huge pinfall win here tonight. These two work so well together, Michael. I'd be surprised if they went their separate ways anytime soon. And it's matches like this one that makes SmackDown such a success. Thank you so much for joining us. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 182 pounds, the WWE Champion, the champ. Guys, is there a chance the champ is underestimating the importance of this match? I don't think so, Cole. I mean, of course the title's not on the line, but I don't think that makes the champ any less determined here tonight. Finn Balor has unlocked the crypts of the underworld in his mind and unleashed the demon.
opponent from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn Beller. What a moment! What a spectacle, and what a big fight we're about to witness. When Balor dons the war paint, it's like his abilities are taken to the next level. Finn Balor only brings out the demon when it's time for a big fight. That is a sight to behold. Intimidating. Exciting. Extraordinary. And we're underway. Looking at these two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about oh, this one-on-one -on -one matchup. And I wouldn't at all be surprised if this match stole the show here tonight. Just breaking down the opponent. Nailed it. not looking great for Finn Balor. With these two guys, we all knew this was going to be an all-out battle. Oh, God, that hurt. for the big one. Is he done? Nicely done as he gets out of the submission. Colonisa, we've got a cover. And an early kick out. That's all right, Cole. When this guy's on, look out. Finn Balor is definitely fading a little here. I'm not sure how much more he has to give. If he wants to win this thing, he's gonna need to make some changes here. There's no way he can stay in this match if he doesn't find a way to fend off this attack. Side effect! Can he end it here? The coup de grace, the type of finishing maneuver that pulverizes opponents. I'll never forget calling the action at NXT TakeOver Brooklyn when the Demon King leaped from the top of the ladder onto a battered Kevin Owens. Unfortunately, Saxton, you were there too. Ooh. And there's the reversal. 
from Finn Balor. Corey, the coup de grace is the perfect move for this warrior known as the Demon King. This move can do much more to an opponent than keep their shoulders down for the three count. Finn Balor, Ooh, what impact. Oh, oh it's over. And, and now with a boost of steam is Finn Balor. It's like he tapped into some unseen energy source. In position. Look out. Here it comes. Oh, almost through the turnbuckle. He's looking good now, guys. Finn Balor can draw the curtains on this one. I know the physical and emotional pain of... This is where Finn Balor's at home. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Hooked up. Spiked. That should do it. As the Demon King was unleashed, history was made when Finn Balor defeated Seth Rollins to become the first ever WWE Universe. Uh, I think this is the beginning of the end. <laughs> Things are about as bad as they could possibly be right now for Finn Balor. He might have it. Beautiful swinging neck breaker. That's what he was looking for, Michael. Look at this. And he's able to get the shoulder up. Balor shooting out of that pinfall like a bullet. And Finn Balor slips out of Bob's way. Extraordinary elusivity. Beautiful technique. How are these superstars even still going, guys? I mean, they have to be on fumes right now. Three. Both these superstars appear to be operating on fumes here, guys. Harsh impact. Takes him down in a major way, too. Beautiful side Russian leg sweep. There's the pin. Can his opponent kick out? Oh, somehow. Balor shooting out of that pinfall like a bullet. Oh, what a boot. I'll destroy your face. Oh, boy, he is rolling. He's looking a little off balance. Need to find a way to turn things around. Penny and predicament. One. An easy kick out there. Have to put in a little more work than that. Oh, and he's taken off his feet. I'll tell you, he can't afford to be horizontal at this point in the match, Cole. Side effect. Here's his moment. My Can he score the pin? And he got a near fall out of it. If you think Finn would go down easily, you've got another thing coming. Uh-oh, he's in trouble here. And if he hits this, this one's over. Oh, what a really great swinging neck breaker. But he's running on fumes here. Does he? There's a pin now. Well, that was a close call. With all the damage done, you have to wonder how much more it'll take. The Irishman has his Irish up. Oh, scoreboard! Oh, Shoulders oh. down here! Slips out of harm's way. Extraordinary elusivity. That's how you wear down your opponent. Boom, what impact. 
And he's able to get out. Balor shooting out of that pinfall like a bullet. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Finn Balor. There's the pin. One. This battle's not over yet. Gonna take more than that. On the back of the neck. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Oh, going right after the neck. Finn Balor is in position. 19 16. Finn Balor never ceases to amaze me. Hoping to end it here. This is it. Two, three. And Finn Balor is your winner. These guys gave everyone their money's worth. Here's another look. These superstars gave as good as they got, and these fans got their money's worth from the opening bell. That's the kind of match that makes me proud to be here at ringside. Action from the opening bell and a finish people won't soon forget. Here is your winner, Finn Balor! So for Finn Balor, he grabs the victory here tonight. Great effort from both these guys, Michael. I'm willing to bet this isn't the last time we see them square off. And folks, if you're just joining us, I'm sorry to tell you that you just missed one of the most exciting SmackDown matches in recent memory.